Hey guys, this is Micronis here, or Eddie. I know, it's been a while since I've been on YouTube, a long time, but now I am back. Um, I really want to do right now is remake my place, PlayStation emulator. It's not eliminated anymore, alright? I'm not trying to help you guys eliminate people, alright? So I'm sorry about my mispronunciations from a while back. It, I was pretty young but now I'm, I'm older now and it'd be easier for me to actually do this okay so let's start our tutorial on how to do it the first part actually of it okay so the first thing you want to do is go to a website called the emulator zone.com it's where I get all the emulators for my for when I want to play like old games so the first thing you want to do is click right here on the left corner right, right here on the Sony, click Sony PlayStation. So that's what we're doing today. And go down, and you want to click the one that says EPXE. Just download it, click it, and once you do, I think I have to open it up myself. Yes. Uh, once you open it up, you it once you extract it, it should you should get like a thing that's you should get folders that says BIOS, cheese, config. Like folders that's just like meant for like everything for the thing. For the emulator, I should say. I'll leave that open for now. Okay. So the next thing you want to do is go to plugins and utilities. You can down download all those memory card manager. You're gonna need a extra DLL. You can do that on your own time. Cause I'm not gonna be doing that right now because uh, I can't really you know do it okay so the next thing you want to do is download if you have like a really good computer like ones that have really good graphics card and all and everything uh, like really good computers that can run really fast good you should get Jeep's Jeep Pete's open G L 2 PS GPU but if you have like a really like slow or mid size computer I should say or it's just a computer it's kind of slow or in the middle but can't handle really high graphics get peach GPU plugins uh, just click it and get it controllers if you have a, like a controller like a USB controller uh, you can use it but I don't have one so we're not gonna be doing that uh, sound plugins I get eternal SPU 1.5 beta 2 it is a really good sound plugin I tested out the other ones and I found out that Eternal is actually the best at all of them. CT CD plugins if you have like PlayStation CDs and you want to play them off of them. I don't recommend playing them off of it because it's actually slower compared to the um the actual iOS. But if you have like a if your CD is good, the CD ROM for your computer, then you can go ahead and download the CD plugins. So you can you play C play your PlayStation games, and that plays for like playing online, for, with the PlayStation games. But I'm not gonna do that. Once you extracted them, let me go to the folder. You should extract them to your plugins folder, and you should get like DLLs of them. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna have a BIOS, cause the bi without the BIOS, you can't even play it. And I'm not gonna put the thing in the description because I'm not gonna get in trouble. Because if I do, then I'm gonna get in trouble. And I don't wanna get in trouble. No one wants to. Everyone wants to get in trouble. No one. Uh, download the SCPH1001 bin BIOS. Just download it. It won't even take that long, I believe. Yeah, it's not even that long. Let me move this out of the way. Put it like right here. Okay. So I'm gonna move this to my BIOS file for now. There you go. I got it in the BIOS file now. Okay, so it's we got all the plugins and utilities now. Now we're ready to open it up.
let's open it up now okay so we're gonna go to the config I'm gonna help you guys out with this so you click whatever BIOS you got click it um, you see right here it recommends so like the 3.3 if you have like an ATI ready in card use that if you have an OpenGL you, if you have a Navita I should say excuse me if you have a Navita graphics card then use the OpenGLs and if you have the old 3DX ones use Loopy's Guide I think you can still use OpenGLs I think it just won't be as powerful normally as it uh, just click next click the one because this one's the one I, I have and click eternal SPU beta eternal SPU plugin I'm sorry um click whatever which one I have which one you have I should say I don't know about Windows 7 I'm not for sure about that one and controller just um configure it to however you want I'm just gonna leave it how it is and just click next and once you do you're done with that so the um if you want to like if you get the DLL like I said for the memory card manager what's gonna happen is just click the memory card that's where you want to extract it to when you once you download it and um open it up and you just click new and hold on a minute yeah okay here we go I gotta go to the um I gotta go to the actual thi actual folder and just go to memory card and you just click save it name it whatever you want I'm just gonna name it um blah <laughs> name it that and then once you're done this will be like a memory card and then if you want to access it later and delete stuff like you just like open up a memory card I don't have an actual memory card right now that actually has something on it but you just click on it and you just click delete and then it takes it off and you just click it like that I believe and then you could add another one and you could transfer it between two memory cards so let's just say there's something like on another memory card and if you want to like transfer it to your other memory card you could just go like that find another one uh, then just transfer it and you click right this button right here and then and it transfers to this one it's really useful so once we're done with that no we don't need to save it where is EPXE right here here we go um, in my next video I'm gonna show you guys on um, the best settings for uh, EPXE depending I'm gonna put like different settings depending on what kind of computer you have or how powerful your computer is so uh, I'll see you guys in my next video Peace.